This is the chaser drone. And it's given me an idea. Our first stop is at our 3D printer, where we're printing the FPV pod. I'm gonna make a quick stop at the junk bin for our frame, just in time for our pod to be done. And our glorious Amazon motors that I've used too many times. But finally, the package is here with the flight controller and the receiver in it. The flight controller is the SpeedyB F405 all-in-one, and the receiver is the Happy Model EP1. But as you can see, this does not fit. Worry not, that's what we have a 3D printer for. I booted up SolidWorks and was able to create an adapter that allowed me to mount the flight controller correctly and also had the correct spaced holes. Fresh off the printer, and shortly after this I realized that there's something wrong. It's too small and I measured improperly, so we made a new one, a green one. I like green better anyway. I attached our receiver, battery leads, and capacitor off camera simply because I forgot to hit record. Time to bust out that soldering iron. I like to attach my motors first so that it's easier to cut them and line them up correctly when I solder. Now we'll be installing the DJI O4 Air Unit Pro into our FPV pod. This one I pulled out of an old model, so it kind of looks like it's been chewed on by a dog, but it works great. Luckily, our flight controller has a six pin connector that we can connect it with. Now we need to attach the pod and find a place for the receiver. It ended up being underneath this blue tape that I used to protect the wires. Went ahead and booted up Betaflight to calibrate the gyros, make sure the motors are spinning the right way, and everything is in order. Four props later, and we're ready for a test flight. Only have a few more seconds here, but here's some clips from a trip that I took a few weeks ago with it. Right here. There will be more coming soon. Thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. Bye.